it helps uh, talking about watches and at the end uh, the customers they feel sometimes uh, that it's impossible to get in uh, right. not, not, not necessarily the salon but the watchmaking world so it's right. really important to, to open the doors I think yeah. and even more for the younger generations yeah. in, in production and they really also focus let's say on uh, high end uh, watchmaking it could be if, if you want to compare them it's they are close to Patek Philippe in terms of their offering so Bonjour. We're inside Pacheron. Oh! Wow, look at this. It's a traditional tourbillon, but in, in platinum. Wow, that's awesome. Retrograde. So here you can see the numbers. Mm -hmm. Going to the 31st and then it goes back to the first. I saw on the patrimony line that they have this uh, complication right. before it. So it's an historical complication in Russian Constantin. We, we work with this complication from the 20s, okay. 1920s. So we decided to, uh, to get an approach for others' complications, mm -hmm. other collections. And they're also known to have one of the most complicated weapons in it, the world. This is the big baller Vashra. Oh, they have something cool inside. <laughs> this is it, man. That's the one. tradition of the cabinetier which was a, a small cabinet or so a small uh, workshop within the um, on the upper uh, end of the dwelling to, to get the lights in Geneva so it's really a classical touch of the Geneva watch oh, it's gorgeous mm -hmm. so they're based in Geneva and they, they manufacture all the watch here it's No freaking way, man. It's here, like, in person. Oh, it's not moving. Oh, it is. No, it's not. It's not that movement. The, 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 the. Oh, it has a guilloche too. Wow. Wow. That's insane. Yeah, that's a lot of handwork on that watch. A lot of handwork. The dial and the case. A legendary struggle as all this time. Oh, I'll do it too. Yeah. So that's like my crotchet box there. Oh, stop it inside the gear bag. Holy cow, look at this. Oh, it's like gold too. Like my shoe. This is amazing. Oh, yeah, look, let's be over there. That's slick. So, um, going inside cocktail. Tiny touches. Damn, it looks like a first class lounge, but in an airport. That is, wow. It is beautiful here. Wow. This is gorgeous, man. Yeah, I'm actually, yeah, that's my feet, right? Oh, my days! Wow, man! Wow! Oh, it's about Tate. Platinum crack tea. Yeah. Wow, man, look at this. A jeweled tiny and a jeweled tank. Cartier on crack, like that's what it is. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. They're just mostly tanks this year. And I lost the guy. Where are they? What's there? Oh! That's so cool!
dude, this feels like a first, like a first class lounge. Swear it on me. Santos de Mont. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I didn't even know Cartier really makes pocket watches. That's beautiful. That's actually quite gorgeous. There you go. It's just, it's just shiny. Damn, dude. That Cartier is what crack me. Yeah, so if you look at this watch, it's really mm -hmm. thin. Oh, look. Mm -hmm. From the, sixth, the other. yeah, from the beginning of the 1950s, they really uh, uh, took this uh, challenge of creating. What did you see that? That is impressive. The Polo was uh, watched uh, wow. in the late 70s uh, for the U for the US market. Wow. This is really thin. Look, so look how thin it is. Uh, the, the creator was fan of Polo. Oh. <laughs> that is crazy, right? So a lot of work. Uh, this is like the fourth time I'm going. <laughs> So they have a really specific identity also Hermes, uh, mm -hmm. they always try to bring a bit of a twist in their design and they have iconic watch design. Oh, okay. oh they see Hermes watches. <laughs> Yo, that's actually quite nice. Incredible arm, all white days. That was quite huge. That was also um, this. This one is gigantic. And uh, see the movement at the back. That's amazing, dude. It's a racing car. And well, yeah, horses in it. It's Aramis, dude. So. <laughs> Again, hand, pain, hand painted. Yeah. Uh, and animal, so it's really hard to do. It's beautiful. Yeah. It looks so different here, the black base around. So those are the menu. Uh, that's the black bay 50. Right there. Wow, their interior is nice. Like. It's a very nice space. Hey, look, there's a thing guy. Yeah. There's a moving glass as so. well. That's crazy. Oh, they have a diamond version too. Movement's nice. That's actually, yeah. For Chanel, that's, uh, that's impressive. So, Chanel actually has a series called The Boyfriend. <laughs> it looks like a tank, but yeah. Hilarious. And then there's the boyfriend on crack. Best ladies watch of the year. I mean, that actually looks impressive. That looks very impressive. I have to say. Yeah. So this is Bell and Ross. It looks quite cool. The BRX5. This is actually my favorite one, this one here. Send Dollar Trip. Can send it. Yeah. And then this is the movement breakdown. Of the, of the movement. I don't know what they're doing, I'm confused. They're just like pointing on what planet. Alright, oh, we gotta do this later. I don't know. We made it. 430 or something. 430, yeah. The, the, the super looming over, right? Oh, paper planes. I don't know how we're going to survive. Hmm. Hey, we're inside Tag Heuer. They have a car. Mm -hmm. Iconic. Tag Heuer. Why do we call it Iconic? It's the first square shape chronograph. 
they made it. And oh, this one. And GPHG award, man. Wow, wow, wow. Did they get iconic watch prize? It's the Gulf. Hey, little pup. The tag of your car. You are driving on the highway and between number kilometer number 101 and 102 is one kilometer. So when you pass the beginning, you operate the chronograph. When you reach the end, you find that the hand of the second it made one full round, which means one minute. So every kilometer, one minute. What is your speed per hour? It will be 60. So we'll put 60. This is the this is the best watch that they have. I think. It's the Carrera Torbion. It's huge, 42. Yeah. Nice. No way. That's awesome though. Oh my god. That's um that's the white birch on crack right there. <laughs> is that uh yeah. This is their most expensive yeah, one this had, this year. I had to go immediately. <laughs> <laughs> There's only eight of these in the world. Only eight? Yeah. Well, inshallah for me. Yeah, the decor is nice. And kimono uniform. What does Seiko do? Oh, the movement's not sealed, yes. The micro artist studio, right? I got a juice from Grand Seiko, I'm slick. <laughs> of course I will, man. Of course I will. The decor is really good, though. Like, really, really nice. Oh, wait, I know that guy. The Aquanauts. Uh, the big baller watches, right? You get a 5712. Oh, my days, man. A 5712 R. Oh, that's the 5811. It's right here. Well, man. And I don't really care about those ones. New to the. I've tried that before. Oh, they have the. That one. That came out last year. And the, the weekly calendar so yeah that. oh that's that, that, that's just some crack right there but this one this is a minute repeat for torque In fact, this is the big baller patex right here man no no like a grandmaster chime oh my normal yeah, that they're, they're actually, they're all Grandmaster Chimes right here. See, in the Patek Museum, you're not allowed to record or take photos, but in here you can. And that, that means, it's on crack right here. Holy cow. That's the newest one. This is the 2023 version. It's like an auction watch. You buy it and put it in your locker. 10, 20 years later. Let's go. It's a <laughs> um, at least, at least like an eight. You have to be like a, an eight-figure millionaire, yeah. <laughs> rather than like if you're like a seven-figure millionaire, then this will be enough. Um,